2020 had its share of challenges, but this year's dry bean harvest in the United States came in stronger than ever. Quantity, quality, and service continue to define U.S. dry bean production. Our nation's bean growers are excited to tell you more about their successful 2020 season. The acres across the United States are definitely up. Um, pinto beans are up 40%. Black beans are up 10 to 15%. Navy beans are up probably 30%. Small reds are nearly doubled. And just all classes in general are pretty much up this year. We've had adequate rainfall to keep plants healthy and quality is good. So we are expecting lots of beans and things to be uh, much better than last year. Michigan is certainly improving genetics. Michigan State University in particular does a lot of test plots. They're breeding plants twice a year and crossbreeding, looking for um, what's suitable in the field. They're also looking for canning quality so they're basically looking at what the consumer wants and trying to breed that into the genetics of the bean and just give the consumer what they need and what works on the farm as well. The biggest question that our global uh, buyers are asking right now is, is this the supplies are back? They want to know what kind of quality we're seeing coming in at harvest and, and that the supplies are back. And the answer is yes to both those questions. We're, we're uh, filling up the bins. The, the quality has been the best we've seen in years. We have a research station uh, nearby in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska with a great team of researchers who do everything from bean variety breeding to chemical research, weed research, irrigation studies, all different things across the board to make sure that what we're doing out here in the field, we're getting the, the best bang for our buck and, and, and operating on the most efficient basis we can. It's, it's just tremendous what they've done. And it's becoming a, a real important Important, real important aspect of farming. It makes me feel really good. It makes our whole family good. I think it makes you feel good when you can get a good product to actually feed the people in the world. I mean, we had a, a it's fun. We had a guy from Columbia here last year, came out here and rode in the combine with me, and he's one of the buyers of our, a lot of our late reds, and he was just amazed at how we go through all the processes to end up getting greens to him in a tote. Everything's computerized, Every, we know exactly what we put on, when we put it on. We have people looking at our crops, telling us when to water, when not to water, when to do this, when not to do this. Um, so everything's timed, it's just not, you just don't go out and just do it. Um, we do it for a purpose. The genetics have changed, you know, quite a bit in the last probably five to seven years. And I think the U.S. farmers are now, this generation of farmer now, they're, they're learning that that's how it's got to be done. Is everyone's striving to make a better product and more of it. I think we're having a really great harvest. We had a, a good spring to get things started and a great summer as far as growth. I think the U.S. is a high quality supplier of all our agricultural goods and a lot of it comes down to our farmers' ability to move quickly in the marketplaces, um, to capitalize on some technology that's available to them, that trickles all the way down to the buyer. If we're doing a fabulous job on our farm specifically, it usually equates to great quality products leaving the farm and going out. Something that we are very proud of in this area is the fact that our, the quality of our beans is so high and we hold each other to a high standard. Um, I mean, it's not that there's, it's not the market holding us to that standard, it's not government or anything, it's each other and we're only gonna continue to get better and so that's, and if you want good beans, you gotta come here. This year's quality is very good from a buyer's perspective. Good moistures that'll keep well and, and cook well. Uh, check seed coats are, uh, are running particularly well so far this year, so Really, this year's harvest is leading us to be able to ship this crop to all of our customers and keep everybody happy. In today's world, food safety is paramount to our survival as an industry. And that's one thing this industry has been very good about is working together and creating solutions that are practical and work for the consumer and, and, and really make us a stable supplier to all our customers around the world. I think growers, um, Growers are very responsive to demand and to pricing. They, they, can re they can react pretty quickly to it. The growers are, are well invested in, in growing beans, uh, whether it be the specialized equipment, 
uh, the technology involved in, in growing these things. And I think the U.S. market, whether it be the grower or the processor, have proven consistently for many, many years that we're willing to make these investments to, to remain the number one supplier in the world. The U.S. is the place to be for a consistent supply, right? It, it's, it's, you can look at the data that's out there. The, the, the supply is here, and it, and it will be. And if, if markets are demanding product, we'll grow it. We're always making investments to increase our yields or quality. If we can raise a better bean, it's, it's better for the elevator, it's better for the buyer, you know, all the way down the line. As far as maximized production, a lot of that comes from like Michigan State does a lot of research for us. Scott Bales is our new uh, agronomist or research director for the, for the Michigan Bean Commission, and he does all our plots. And we use that data, uh, we, we really look at that data close. You can't go any place in the world and find the, the quality of beans that we're gonna have here in the U.S. Hands down, I think we have the, the best quality. The United States is the best place to purchase your beans because of the quality we grow, number one. Number two, the consistent quality year after year. Number three, the reliability that we have. Number four, the, the accessibility. We always have beans available. The United States is good at shipping beans. Twenty twenty harvests are in. Bins are filled and U.S. dry bean growers want you to know they're ready to keep supplying you with a consistent, high-quality product. Global buyers choose U.S. dry beans season after season because our quantity, quality, and service are found nowhere else in the world.